Welcome back to North Dakota today. We are right in the dog days of summer and as I'm sure you felt this weekend, it's hot, hot, hot outside. One thing you might not have prepared for heat related health problems here on the couch to talk about it. We have Brooke Erstad and Travis Brinkenberger here with Apex Physical Therapy. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Of course. Thank you for coming. So what kind of conditions should we be aware of during these hot summer months? Yeah, I think there's a variety of different things, but the probably the biggest is just heat related injury, heat exhaustion, um, some dizziness that can come along with that, sometimes called heat syncope. Um, but we also have a uh, tendency to injure our tendons and ligaments and just a variety of different things that can happen with being outside for long periods of time. Dehydration as well, I guess that's, that's, that's a, a really big one, big one. that's yeah. sort of the the answer, I would say, and a condition all on its own. Yeah, a lot to look out for. And something I never heard about, heat-related vertigo. Yes. So what is that? Can you kind of describe it to me? Vertigo is defined as like when you feel like you're spinning or, um, or kind of the, everything else is spinning and you're stationary. Um, and so when we get dehydrated and we have more problems regulating our blood pressure, our ears have more difficult time functioning. And so, oh. similar to like when you feel like you're faint, sometimes your ears will play tricks on you mm -hmm. and you'll feel like you're spinning and that's when it's a good time to get inside, drink some fluids, try and cool off. Oh yeah, so what about summer? It's the high temperatures that kind of spark it? I think it's the high temperatures in addition to the sweats and fluid loss and some mm. of the electrolytes that help kind of maintain those pressures, make it easier for us to do that. So when we're losing those so quickly, that's hard on us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So how do you treat most of these heat related problems? <laughs> a lot of the heat related problems are through getting inside, making sure that you're dressed appropriately for the weather, um, plenty of fluids if you have to be outside, right? Mm -hmm. um, trying to find ways to keep your environment cooler throughout the day. Um, those are the big things. There's some like little tips to cooling towels, I think have oh, come a yeah. long way, just sort of soaking a towel, wrapping that around your, your head if you're going out to the garden or to move around. But, and sometimes something just fun and interesting, like a new water bottle to remember to take with you. And there's so much great technology to keep, keep our fluids cold as well. Mm -hmm. So those are just some, some little tips, I would say, that you could do to keep yourself hydrated and still enjoy the outdoors. And as we heard last segment, there's, this is a great time in North Dakota. Absolutely, and I'm right there with you about the water bottles. Anytime I get a new one, I think I drink 10 it's times the water. It's just kind of, yeah, it's, it's more exciting, and it's, it's a tip we use with like kids with bedwetting, and we yeah. actually want them to hydrate, but in general, I think our bodies need more water than we're used to consuming, and in the summer, that's especially evident with like vertigo and dizziness related balance um, issues and maybe even sports injuries or workers out in the heat as well are more susceptible. Yeah, so I know there's a lot of bike riding in the summer. That's a popular mm -hmm. activity, especially on those nights. And you wanted to touch on pelvic pain specifically in cyclists. Oh. So what about that can you do to combat it? Yeah, well, we have a great pelvic health team mm -hmm. at Apex. Um, we're always looking for ways to take care of pelvic pain um, and this is the time of the year we're out on our bikes but there's a there's a main nerve to our pelvic floor that gets compressed with the way a bike seat fits okay. with our pelvis and um, our therapists at Apex are great at either relieving pressure around that or um, helping deal with a better advise on a better bike seat um, lots of different ways we can take a look at that for you and help out if you're enjoying cycling in this nice weather yeah, there you go. So where can people find more information or learn about more Apex stuff? Yeah, um, I like to direct everyone to our website. It's got mm -hmm. a ton of information on all the different areas of Apex. Um, and then we each have, uh, we have six different sites. Uh, the numbers are all right up there. But okay. if, you need, if you need a number to remember, um, 364-2739, it's 364-APEX. It's a super easy way to remember. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, but also apexptwellness.com has a ton of information on blogs. You can offer, we have free screening signups and different ways to take a look at you, but we just love, peop we love helping people's physical pains and uh, want them to add, add a physical medicine worker of some sort and Apex would be a great choice. Well, thank you so much, guys, for coming on the show this morning. And you're in the West Fargo location? 
I'm in the West Fargo location. Travis is in the South Fargo location. All right, yep. so you can visit those two there. Thank you again for coming on today's show. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And coming up next, we're heading out for some fun at the farm. We'll bring those details next. Stick around. <laughs>